this bottom level, she's a tricky one. It is actually going to be the entrance, but it's also going to be multi-purpose. It's a pretty busy space. We've got the entry to the house. We've also got a living space. Yeah, you're feeling it's a bit too rusty. So staircases are my thing, okay? Like, who said staircases were boring? Who said that? I had seen what Bond's vision was on paper, and as it started to come to life, absolutely love it. Oh, holy dooly. Wow, this has changed down here. The staircase for me was probably a hard one. That's what's going to transform this home. So currently the bottom level of the house, the ceiling heights aren't high enough, so they need to be raised to be habitable, uh, which we will do, which means we have to dig out, dig under, create more ceiling height in that room so that you can walk in and it is actually going to be the entrance but it's also going to be multi-purpose because the client has requested that there is also a bedroom down there and pretty much a self-contained little space that their family can come and stay at when they need to. Now, we're in the entry level now, which is going to be the brand new lounge room, barish kind of area, extra bedroom, um, which is that separate accommodation they wanted for their guests and then an ensuite over to the right hand side. So as you can see now, um, ceiling heights aren't legal. So we've got to excavate underneath this whole entire space just to get the height we need for this room. Hey Lana, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited, oh my God. Oh, where's the house gone? And you've dug in? Yes. How high are the ceilings going to be here? 2.4? 2.4. Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go higher than that on the lower ground. No. This is amazing. I know we're doing a lot of work to fix the water issues. Yes, that's right. So yeah. behind this wall will be yeah. a dish drain to collect whatever water runoff is to come through the block. Yeah. And then direct it into your stormwater line. That's great because, yeah, yeah you don't want water issues. Now tell me, because we've got the um, you know, three storeys of brick load, and yet I, I believe we're still to remove some walls. Yes, so that back wall we see there, that yeah. goes. This L-shaped wall here. Yeah, show me. This goes. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got two storeys to support. And so these are definitely coming out? Yes. And the house will stay up? Yes. Excellent. actually a good sized space. I just love seeing all these steel beams. Look at them. I, I know, just know what that means. Them. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from a structural perspective, I oh, love seeing the quality of beams. Well, I mean, these beams these are, just are holding up the whole house. Yeah, I know. Because we've excavated down nearly a metre. Remember, the earth was up to here yeah. before. Yeah, I know. That's all why this to me feels really high. Yes. <laughs> oh, and the view inside, looking out through these huge drama-filled um, windows or, or doors, actually, I should say. The amount of work that has gone in behind here to waterproof oh. this whole property. One of the problems with the lower ground floor previously is that it would flood. Even in the slightest amount of rain, it would flood. So what was really critical here was to come up with a solution. One of the ways to do that, and a really special step, is to create a gap between the earth and the rocks and the property. Look, look at this. Oh. Like, so this, this is, is a piece of art here. Yeah. It's all about and creating the, space for the, waterproofing. So this concrete wall has got the, the, the right product on it, it's put the right way, no water's getting through. It's a really cool technique, building technique, to create these gaps behind walls as a moisture barrier. It's not storage. Um, it could be a great place to hide if you ever had to hide from, I don't know, an intruder which is a bit dramatic, but I always think about those things. It's how my mind works. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh.
So this will be like a bedside yep. table that runs through here, yep. built, yep. and then the day bed comes out through here. Oh wow. Yeah, so you'll be able to sit here, look, I imagine that. You. Look, there's a day bed on every level. Pretty well, I love it. Luxaflex have often come to the rescue in the past where we used bifold shutters to separate two rooms. Here, we're going to use curtains. And I mean, they're whimsy. They'll be heavy though. They won't just sort of blow away. But we want to have them hidden when we don't want to see them, but then we want them to come out and actually create privacy for the bedroom and the ensuite and the little wardrobe. Curtain coming out through here for privacy to shut off this room. And they can use that as another bedroom. That's and a that's, great one. That's and that's where the track will run. And we want it um, so like yeah. motorised so it's that's really cool. luxury. Cool. Yeah, like bang. Cool. See, I don't know with this curtain here, I wouldn't have that as a block out. I'd put a light filtering lining because it'll give privacy but light come through. Look at this, look at this. I think we've got it, people. We've definitely got it. Light filtering? I can't see through that. No, you can't. You cannot. I can't see through that. Done. Done. All three? Yep. Done. So excited. Tile Clouds Travertine Lookalike Porcelain Tile is the best. It's got tumbled edges. It just looks so real. Because we're on an angle, is it more important to have your full tile centered to your staircase? as you're walking up here. I think we've got to have a full tile at the base of the staircase, Me too. 100%. So whatever happens from the base of the staircase is, this is just collateral damage. That's nice. Yeah, I like, it's so soft, isn't it? And that'll look really beautiful with- With um, the other tile. With the I'll other tile. For... Oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful, Lou. Isn't it? Yep. All right, so gang, pretty much where we're at downstairs is, this was, I don't know if you can remember, but it was just all these tiny little rooms. The ceiling height was so low. You felt like you were in a little cave down here. And you can see the tiles have all gone down. They've just been grouted. You can see how beautiful that tile is. Sitting, barry kind of area here. Little cocktail table off here. We'll have lounge seating here. Living, you know, I've said this before, but a multi purpose room is about, you know, what is the purpose? The two purposes in this house is all about living, enjoying, entertaining, and the second one is about sleeping and privacy. We needed to have a bedroom that could be hidden away, so we needed to partition this whole section off. We've done it before with Luxaflex, we use shutters. And so those shutters bifolded to create an open space when they wanted it and a closed space when they needed it. We're doing it with flowy curtains this time with Luxaflex and I'm excited about it. So it's going to look amazing. It, I mean, I would just have them kind of flowing, covering this whole section anyway. But if you want, it gets fully hidden behind this wall. So it sits behind that little secret wall, which is amazing. So massive transformation down here. It's probably, it, it is the biggest transformation of the whole entire home. But the one thing that we haven't seen yet, if you look up, you can see there's still some really exposed steel beams. We had an opportunity present recently and it was to leave the beams and the lower level exposed. And we'd planned on chip rocking over them. We would have a normal 2.4 high ceiling down there, which is to code. We were going to lose probably close to 18, 19 centimetres in roof height, and we did not want to do that. We wanted to have as much height in that ceiling as possible. Detailing on your ceiling is something you don't want to forget. We never forget it, and we haven't forgotten it in this home. So we've got the James Hardy axon on the ceiling. The steel beams will be painted the same colour as the ceiling. So exciting stuff down here. Staircase for me was probably a hard one because I liked the pre-existing staircase. I thought it was actually really beautiful. It was beautifully made, but 
just with the way that we needed to enter the home and then that vision of having that kind of spiral staircase going all the way out through you know the side of this building it just didn't work so yeah it was probably a sad day for me that day but the new staircase is incredible Who said staircases were boring? Who said that? I don't think anyone actually did, but I bet you someone has said that somewhere in the world. They're wrong. Staircases can be amazing. Oh, holy dooly. Wow, this has changed down here. Good hey. Hey, okay, so you know how we wanted this to be quite rustic through here, through the ceiling and show the beams and everything? Yeah. Well, are you feeling rustic, Yeah, are you feeling it's a bit too rustic? Um I like the texture of yeah. these beams. You know what? I think we do bolts in there and make it a feature. feature. And then have you seen the tiling in the bathroom? You can you only see the corner them. there, but you know what? You know what I was worried about with these tiles it was that they were going to look a little bit too grey for the terracotta. But what's oh, happened? Yeah. yeah. But what's happened is all those warmer tones in the marble have really been popped. like yeah, yeah popped, popped yeah. because of the terracotta. So it's worked out really well. And that little window is so gorgeous. <laughs> See the uh, spot for the mattress to go in here is ready to go. This is our day bed slash night bed um, that is built in. So it's gonna be gorgeous during the day to look out to the pool. And then if you need guests to stay at night, it's here and we're gonna have that curtain runner right along here that goes back in here. I wonder if I can fit in that cavity. I cannot, or almost, I can't. The boobs don't fit in if you can believe it. Who would have thought that would stop me? Anyway. This gorgeous little bathroom, we haven't, we've sort of forgotten about it compared to what else is going on in the house. So let me just give you a quick little view. You know what, this is the cutest floor pattern. I am loving this tiling pattern. We're using this same subway, that sort of terracotta subway, is repeated throughout the home, but always with a slightly different pattern. And so that's a great way to use tiling throughout your home, is the same type of tile, but maybe laid differently. It's a lovely way to connect the spaces, but still keep them interesting and unique. By the way, has the cavity slider never been so cute? Look at this. Look at that. It's just that little arch detail that makes it gorgeous. We've got the pivot front door installed now and painted. This is the gorgeous colour by Dulux Coalition. Blue, grey. What a statement as soon as you come in the property. You're hit by that colour and then it repeats throughout the home, which is so gorgeous. The noise. So the idea behind the staircase was to have it, you know, that drunken render on every single wall of that um, staircase. You can see here, when you pick samples or when you're getting your samples of flooring, make sure that you get a few pieces of that flooring because there are a lot of variations in flooring. So you wanna kind of get, you know, one box might look a certain way, then the next box might look a different way. So you can see here, this one feels like, oh, okay, it's quite clean. It doesn't have a lot of knots in it. But then you get the next box and it does. Now, this one here, I feel like for this house is probably just that little, little bit too yellow and warm. So I think the money shot is stony grey.
Now, if you're anything like me, you need a design tool that gives you the flexibility to make changes and collaborate with others. We're using Autodesk's CAD software so we can place all the furniture now and see how it's going to look, as you've got to have a sleeping zone, a lounge room, entertaining space, and act as an entrance to the whole home. So I think furniture placement is absolutely key and it has to be bang on. So the lower ground level used to be uninhabitable. It was really an underhouse sort of area. It was such a, a waste of space yeah. for this block of land. So we absolutely knew we had to turn it into full living space. You know, that space downstairs was a bit of a challenge too, from a design perspective, because it's the entry for, it's the grand entrance to the house, but it's also a kind of guest quarters, you know, at the client's request. So they have family come from overseas, so they wanted somewhere where their family could come and genuinely sleep and feel that they genuinely could spread out. So that was a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, look, I think, I like those challenges. I know yeah, you do. Like, that's a good one, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like. I, know. I like trying to figure out how you can make a space really beautiful, mm. and it is beautiful down it there. Is. You know, you walk into that home, you see this magnificent staircase, and you look in and you've just got this gorgeous lounge with this amazing bar area, bench seat, you know, you've got storage for when the, yeah, when like the girls come home, like yeah. a little um, mud room there, school bag, shoes, everything. You've got the day bed that is like, a day bed when majority of the time where you're entertaining and it looks fantastic but the second that they've got guests you close it up there's a lot jammed into that space downstairs but it all looks nice but it works and you it know it works, works yeah. because we went with curtain yeah to separate the spaces yeah so it's recessed into the Room wall divide. which is beautiful versus having a fixed wall because a fixed wall down there you would have lost half the space oh it would have you it would have felt so just, small it would have just been yeah. an entry foyer really yeah. which it could have been um, but but we turned it into what the clients wanted, which was that multi-purpose area. Yeah. And what did you say the other day? You said it was like a pool pool, pool house. So I said, I, oh yeah, yeah. I think I, I remarketed it to you both as a you pool did. house, and you said that's fabulous. In that, for everyday living, it's sort of it's there operating as a pool house mm -hmm. for the pool connection to the pool, the entertaining, even the bathroom there when you come out of the pool. But then on those you know occasions during the year, or if the parents come over from overseas for a month or so, mm -hmm. you can live down there divide off the room, but you haven't given up such important real estate to just guest quarters. Yeah, mm, That would be such a shame. It would, I completely yeah. agree with you, it absolutely would. And it looks so big down there now. Oh, yeah. it, it's yeah. such a transformation, it's amazing. And I've climbed onto that corner of the, the day bed and yeah. sat there and imagined I had a glass, I didn't have a glass of wine, and looked out to the pool. Yeah. It's so relaxing. And you know, even when it gets, you know, um, in the middle of summer, mm. we've put in the split system higher yeah. um, air con. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't, you don't have to do ducted. No. And that's where we did the split system. So normally we would line the ceiling with plasterboard, mm. but on this occasion, because we chose to expose all of the beams, the James Hardy Axon was the perfect addition to just yeah, give well a little bit more texture. And character, yeah. you know, you've got these rustic steel beams, you've got the lines of the James Hardy, yeah. I love that ceiling down there. With the small little bathroom ladies, you know we love the layout of everything on one wall. Yes. So we've got shower, vanity, toilet, it's always a winner. It is, it is always a winner. If you've got the length, that's what works. Yeah. A little bit of a rectangular shape is easier than a square. Mm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, that rectangle shape is. And, and we have everything we need down there. We've got the beautiful window at the end as well. Yeah. The shower is a beautiful, decent size, to be honest. It's a really good size. The vanity is as big as you need. It's got a bit of bench space there for your bibs and bobs. Mm. And then like, your little toilet. So that wall sconce that's in there as well, that's, that's Beacon. It's an outdoor light that's in there. So we always do that, don't we? We always use the outdoor lights inside. inside. So 
So the staircase was one of the first things that you guys designed really. Yeah, was, was working out where the staircase could go, bang, got that worked out. And then the fact that it needed to be a spiral, mm. a circular staircase, and then everything just moved from there. And it also needed to sit on one side of the house. Oh yeah. So that we weren't taking up, we weren't splitting the home into two. It's not wide enough no. to do that. Yeah, so it sat over this side and then you also wanted it to feel as grand and as beautiful as you possibly could. So just fanning it yeah. on the edges, it does that with a staircase and, and you know, it's gorgeous. Like it's all rendered and... And it did take a long time to get it to the point. Like this staircase did. was, we were designing it for months and months and templates and changes and just to get that perfect kick and the perfect curve and, 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 and when you're going up the staircase, oh, you know, the window that's in there that's yeah. just remarkable. Like they're beautiful, beautiful windows. Well, and they're a, like artwork. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a lovely journey, the staircase journey. So yeah. there's the windows that are like the artwork, but the stair, case itself is like a, a work of art, a piece of art. From the rendered curves and uh, the handrail which matches the balustrade yeah. and even the little gold um, beading the trim yeah, on, on the, the on the woodcut treads and risers, yeah. they glint in the sunlight, right? And I actually think one of the nicest elements of the staircase is looking under yeah. it from the middle level. That is sculptural. I mean, the guys at General Stairs put so much love and care into it. And it's two staircases, really, let's be honest. That's They're right. two staircases because we've got the three levels. Mm. Uh, but they just complement each other and it all comes together. And the woodcut flooring, it's a French oak product. What colour was it again? What's it called? Uh, so we went with stony grey for this one. Stony grey. And there's oh. a lot of colour variation and that's what works. And that's what makes it look so beautiful. And it's lovely that at the top of the stairs we don't transition to carpet, we just continue the woodcut all the way down the hall. And then into the bedrooms, it sprawls. It's been challenging, but you know, it was worth it and every renovation build is challenging. Yeah. And this one was our toughest. Mm. The front of this house is a bit different to most houses, but the problem with this home is it doesn't have a cohesive overall look and feel. I'm just seeing the exterior colour go on for the first time. I am loving it. Actually, better than I thought. It fits with the style of home perfectly. From the first minute to the last. I'm most looking forward to seeing the transformation of the end product. It's always what I look forward to the most. Instantly when I saw it, I could see it was going to be wow at the end. It's the same house, but it's completely different. It's consistently yeah. drunk. It's just yeah. fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it's is. like me at the Christmas party. <laughs>